Hello, friends. How are you? I'm hoping we'll have some friends join, although I won't be surprised if many of you are sleeping in, are resting, relaxing, and maybe not on the internet, but that's okay. I am here. I was actually contemplating pre-recording, but then uh, I realized um, I'm actually here, I'm relaxing, and I knew at 9 a.m. my kids would still be sleeping, so I wouldn't be missing much in the home front. So I thought, why not hop on and um, be with you guys and share my weekly inspiration? So welcome, welcome. My name is Genevieve Ko, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Markham, Ontario. Uh, but I love to share my stamping creations across the country, across the world. I also do special classes and events just to make it easy and fun for you to create. So whether this is your first time joining me or your hundredth time joining me, I really appreciate the time that you're spending with me. I feel like our Facebook Lives are these... Uh, I don't know, videos are just a way to connect with those of you who maybe live a little further away and can't get out to my in-person events, or even if you live closer, but it's just you want to connect with me, you want to get some stamping inspiration. So I'm here uh, usually every Tuesday morning around 9 a.m. Eastern time. I am hopping on and you'll always hear about any specials, any things going on with Stampin' Up. You'll also hear about what things I'm offering as an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator or in my classes. I, uh, If you get to know me, you'll know that I'm really... Uh, someone that just likes to use this fun hobby to connect with people. So there's usually always something going on. So um, I usually take these weekly kind of videos as a chance to share with you. And then, of course, we'll always stamp a project. So that's my happy place, getting to be in my craft cave, stamping, enjoying. And so welcome, welcome. And I love to read your comments. So make sure you comment so that I can know that you're here. Let me know how you enjoyed your holidays so far. Uh, I had a really great day yesterday just hanging out. Um, it didn't start off so great. So believe it or not, this is the second time it's happened. So I'm not sure what's going on, but our sink in our kitchen um, took a leak. And uh, I don't know if that's the right phrase, but we didn't know we were sleeping. And so the leak went um, from our kitchen sink down sort of the wall, the back of the pipe and started dripping here. Like you can see the blue wall behind me. Um, it was coming down from the ceiling and like coming out of the wall a little bit. So I was like, oh no, like I came down, I was all excited yesterday morning because once again, the kids are sleeping. They're all young adults now or one's a teenager. So <clears throat> I knew I'm a morning person. So I get up um, early and I came down and then I, I was all excited because I wanted to play with some of the new spring catalog stuff. And I thought it's going to be quiet. It's perfect time to stamp. And then I just kind of heard this like trip, trip, trip. <laughs> and I'm like, what's that noise? And then I looked over at the table and then I went over and it was wet. And I'm like, oh, no. And I looked up at the ceiling and I could see it was like all boist up there. And I was like, oh no. And, um, but what was the saddest part was that uh, every time there's a new catalog coming, I participate with some friends in a swap. So that's um, a really fun thing about the stamping community is we swap cards. So it's just like a cookie exchange, but with cards. So I make all of the same kind of cards and then I exchange with other people and they give me different cards. So then I end up with a whole variety of different ideas and samples. And since my customer appreciation event is uh, coming up on Saturday, I thought, great, I'm going to have a new display board. Although some of the cards haven't arrived yet because Anyway, so my swap that was in progress, getting close to being finished, was laid out on the table and it was all wet. So I have to start all over. So that was a little bit sad, but it didn't ruin my day at all um, because when the kids finally did get up, we had breakfast together, we opened presents, we sang songs, um, we just hung out and talked with each other. So it was 
perfect. And then in the evening, we went to Kevin's parents' house and enjoyed um, some more food and uh, hanging out. So go ahead and tell me in the comments what you did and how you've been enjoying the holidays. I hope you didn't have a water leak that ruined your stamping projects, <laughs> but I am glad to be with you here this morning. And, uh, oh, somebody said uh, Jody was one who got you hooked on making cards. Oh, yeah, there's so many ways to share card making and stamping. So this is just one of the ways that I share, but I do lots of other things. So why don't we dive into some of the things you need to know right now? What you need to know right now is today is the last Tuesday of the month. Um, so this will be my last live featuring our feature product. So all month long, what I do is I pick a product and I showcase it all month long. And you'll get to see different ways to use the product. You'll get different um, examples of projects. And uh, those of you who shop, who choose to shop with me, uh, the link to shop with me is always in the description. You can also uh, head over to my link tree link and um, just click the shop now button and you can shop. So this bundle that we've been focusing on on, on all month is available for purchase. Uh, those of you who shop and use the host code of the month. So December's host code is here on the screen. Uh, if your order is $60 or more, then I gift you with a free card making packet. And it's a almost like a class in the mail because you get the four cards that I will be showcasing in my lives the following month. So you can either stamp along with me or you can watch the videos later and do them. You also get the tutorials. And that's just my way of saying thank you for your support. So the last chance to get your uh, January make and takes free is by uh, shopping this month and making sure your order is at least $60 or more using that host code on the screen. Um, was something, oh yes, but if you are a Team Stick member, so those of you that are on my team, direct team members who purchase the starter kit from me, then you don't have to worry about shopping to get your kit because you get it just by being a team member. So those of you who are Team Stick Girls, uh, the email's already gone out for you to register for the January Make It Takes. And uh, you just pay a flat fee of $10 and that includes the shipping and the tutorials. So uh, that's just a little perk for being on my team. If you don't know what it's like to be on my team or you've thought about becoming a demonstrator, make sure to talk to me because I have so much to tell you, just some things to know because when I signed up, I didn't really know what I was doing, <laughs> but still no regrets. I've been a demonstrator for 16 years now. And I realized maybe it's better I didn't know because uh, I've had so much fun along the way. So whether you are thinking about becoming a demonstrator because you wanna make a little extra income, um, it is possible. And I have been a top performer with the company. I've been a demonstrator for 16 years. I used to work this full time um, being a demonstrator and enjoyed uh, several perks. Um, but if you're interested in just a creative community, Stampin' Up! Uh, community is so supportive, so many different ideas. And our team in particular, we have monthly swaps. We've got creative challenges. Um, we've got an exclusive Facebook group. Um, but really, even if you're someone that's just super busy and you have trouble finding time for yourself, I'm telling you, being a demonstrator was one of the best things I ever did because I do have a crazy life. When I started, I had three young children. The youngest was under a year old when I started. And I used it as an excuse to make time for myself, to continue to just get in touch with some quiet spaces and create. I think all of us have some creativity within us and um, just doing something intentional to make space for that. Um, it was really the best thing that I did and kept my sanity through some tough times. So don't say that you're too busy to become a demonstrator because that might be the reason why you need to become a demonstrator and join my team. So I don't know how I got onto that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so uh, 
all of that to say, last chance to get your make and takes for next month. It's starting whenever it's near the end of the month. It's also time to remember, don't forget to register for my January classes. So the registration link for my upcoming classes is here. And the one that I'm really excited about that anyone um, around the country, anyone in Canada can participate in is my um bring in the new year bingo so it's a special stamping class so don't get me wrong it's not any sort of gambling thing it's a stamping class we just call it uh, bingo for fun uh, because we'll be playing a few rounds of bingo for prizes but we'll also be stamping some beautiful cards using new product from the catalog uh, we've got a mini catalog beginning in uh, January 4th, January 4th, a new catalog is going live. So my bring in the new year bingo will be on the last Friday. It's over zoom and we will make cards together. I'll mail out the packets ahead of time. That's why you need to register so that I have everything ready. I can order all the pieces and start cutting and get them in the mail to you. So hopefully you'll have it in time for our zoom session at the end of the month. So, uh, you want to register for that. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments. I'm happy to answer or you can private message me. The other thing that's happening is in February, I am doing another virtual stamp camp with my friend Jennifer Cotton and we'll be focusing on new catalog stuff. I mean, it's always so exciting when a new catalog comes out because we're done the Christmas crafting now, right? Are we done? Um, and so we can play with some spring things and there's an amazing promotion going on in January and February called Sale celebration. So of course, Jennifer and I wanted to do a stamp camp for that. So you can register uh, at the link tree slash stampin' for fun. Uh, just click upcoming classes and it should take you there. And then the last class you should know about those of you who are able to drive to Markham, the first lunch, laugh and craft of 2024 is coming up. It's on January the 9th and lunch, laugh and craft is just such a fun time. So if any of you are still off from work or uh, you've just never come out and you've really wanted to come out, we eat lunch, we make cards, we talk to each other. It's so casual and who can go wrong with a little, little uh, Swiss chalet meal and enjoy. Um, oh, Hi, Karen. Yes, I can tell you it's all the information is on the registration form. All the details are there. But my lunch, laugh and craft, if you're able to drive to Markham, it's only $20 for three cards or it's absolutely free if you place an order at the class. Your class just has to be a minimum. Your order just has to be a minimum of $30 or more. My bring in the new year bingo is $45. It doesn't include shipping. So if you need it shipped to your door, it's an additional $10. Um, but that includes the card making packet, it includes a special treat, and it includes uh, just a little bingo card so that you can play along with the games. Uh, and then the Stamp Camp with Jen and Jen, the main portion for Canadians is $75. That includes a whole goodie bag. It includes 10 different card make and takes. Uh, it includes uh, an exclusive Facebook group with bonus inspiration and chance for prizes. And then it, um, you can also sign up. We haven't decided what we're going to do yet, but there's optional classes you can sign up for too. Okay, so that is the prices. I hope that answers your questions. See, that's the benefit of doing live instead of pre-recording. I can answer your questions right away. So let me know if I wasn't clear about anything. Um, things happening with Stampin' Up!, um, we're just all getting ready for the new catalog launch on January the 4th. And uh, there's a big promotion coming in January the 4th as well. So you'll start to see um, little, you'll start to see on my blog, I'll start to talk about it, I'll start to be posting about it. But it's still a little while before the 4th. So we're going to enjoy everything uh, that we have to do now because that also means when a new catalog comes, it also means that an old catalog is leaving. So let me show you where to find, oops, where to find the last chance items because there are still some great discounts there. Let me see whether I can 
uh, share my screen so that you can see. If you go to stampinup.ca, you'll want to make sure that you put me as your demonstrator. That's number one thing to do if my name isn't already there. Normally, you'll see my little picture if you found me, and um, I'll be listed as the demonstrator there. The reason why is I can't give out any uh, ordering gifts or anything like that. Um, if your order doesn't actually come through me. So make sure you've got that in the top left corner. And you're gonna to wanna to go to specials and check out the last chance products. So these are products that are leaving, mostly they're holiday things or Halloween's, fall things um, that will never be seen again. They're retiring. And some of them are on amazing discount, like the nested treat boxes. If you've watched my videos before, you will have seen what I've made with those. Um, so make sure to take a look, okay? Like glow in the dark paper. Oh my goodness, that's on sale for $7.80. So who wouldn't love some glow in the dark paper? So while you're doing some shopping, make sure to check the last chance list because it's called last chance for a reason. Uh, they'll be gone to make room for all the spring things. Okay, so that's what's happening with Stampin' Up. Let's flip over my camera because I am ready to do some stamping with you. Um, I may have <laughs> been eating pancakes this morning and not uh, exactly preparing as much as I would like to, but Hopefully I won't have to run around my craft room that much. Those of you who watch me regularly, you'll know. Sometimes I'm like, oh, where's this? And I go running around my craft room and get it. Sometimes I'm very worried that I'll trip on the mess in the craft room. But today it should be okay because I cleaned up. We had people over at our house after Christmas Eve service. So I cleaned up the basement. Let me show you what we made. Um, I cleaned up the basement to have friends over. So... Uh, the young people could come down and talk. And I even did a little make and take project just for the kids that were coming over or anyone who wanted to make it really. Uh, let's see. Can you see it here? So um, I took out the, I think it's the Oh Holy Night suite and made kind of like an impromptu little ornament. See that? using the gorgeous paper and the embellishments. So I was Christmas crafting right up to the end. And go ahead, tell me in the comments if you did any crafting over the holidays, what you made. You can post pictures. I love to see, see what you're making. So anyway, all that to say, I might not trip as badly as I normally do um, because I actually swept the floor. I cleaned up the floor. I like moved a lot of stuff around. But now it's a bit messy again due to the sad flood that happened. But we won't talk about it. I only like to talk about happy things. Okay, let's get my table in view. Okay, so hopefully you can see my tabletop a little bit better. Uh, I know you've heard me talking about this gorgeous glass mat that I have. And uh, this is one of the specials that is happening um, starting January 4th that anyone that joins my team becomes a demonstrator can get one of these for free. And it's an $82 value. It's called the Glass Mat Studio. So I've been playing around with it just to, I, I just have it sitting on my desk. It's really sturdy. That's the number one thing I noticed was the absolute sturdiness of it. Um, it makes for a perfect stamping service. So there's no bend in it. There's no bubbles. Um, our photopolymer stamps stamp wonderfully on it. Okay, so let's get started with our project today. Um, so if you've ever thought about joining uh, and becoming a demonstrator, whether it's for the discount of the product, which is actually why I joined. I didn't I didn't think about it that hard. I was like, man, I love the Stampin' Up! products. I need a way to get it at a discount. So that that's how I became a demonstrator. But since then, I realized the discount is just just one of the perks. It's actually one of the smallest part of the perks. The other things are way more valuable. The community, the friendships I've made, um, even personal development. Like I feel like I've I've grown as a person, as a leader. It's It's been incredible. So um, come for coffee with me. I'd love to tell you more. Uh, okay, so this is our product of the month. Let's do a little stamping with it. You'll see I already pre-cut the pieces and this is how your free card class will come. Um, this is how your card class will come if you placed an order last month, uh, $60 or more, you would have received it. Everything's pre-cut. And so don't worry. I know some of you out there love my card packets because even if you don't have the matching stamp set, 
you could use these pre-cut pieces for so many other things, right? Like you can use your own um, stamps and kind of create with it. I've done all the hard work for you by cutting and preparing. Um, so, oh, hi, Wendy. People are worried they're going to break it, the glass mat. Okay, so I'm not, I don't know. I'm sure if you threw it around, maybe it would break. But I'll tell you, uh, my I used to be a full-time Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now I'm a full-time Stampin' Up! employee. I actually work corporately for the company, and my role is to provide training and support to demonstrators across Canada. So I've actually taken um, a glass mat and hauled it in my suitcase and taken it to demonstrator events around the country. And... <laughs> And it didn't crack. It didn't break. It comes actually. So like when it first comes in the package, it comes with these little edges. So I, you do not keep these edges on. Um, they're just for like traveling or storing. Oh, I think you can't see it in the camera. Okay. But I keep them here. See it. I keep them with me because, um, I never know when I might want to take it somewhere or carry it somewhere. Like those of you who go to crops or go to crafting events, I have like a ladies retreat weekend. I'll probably bring it there. Right. So then you, you keep these, but no, I don't think so. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, can you see the edges are rounded here? So it, it's got a finished edge. It's not like a rough raw piece of glass, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm not expecting it to break at all. Like when I transported it, there's, and then I'll show you the bottom. Hang on. Okay. We are going to get to the stamping project. So it does just come with the glass mat. It also comes with, it's why it's called glass mat studios. Cause you also get this. This is a, you can put it anywhere you want. And so what this is, is a silicon um, kind of, I don't want to call it a storage. It's like a silicon tool. And so what fits here, for those of you who are curious, those of you who get paper pumpkin or who got our mini spots, let me show you. They fit right in here. Okay. So if you, um, use the spots this is perfect and then like and it's it fit like it fits right in you actually have to push it a bit so it's not going to fall out okay i'm pretty sure it will not fall out not that you would ever do this with your mat but the silicon um piece stays put so i'm not sure and I know this, you, like sometimes I've used it, you know, sometimes when you're like just trying to get your glue started or whatever, and you don't want to put it on the mat or you don't want to put it on a paper. So you can put it on here and then peel it off the silicone after the glue. Um, but even if you're doing techniques with watercolor or anything like that, you can do it on the mat. But I, I haven't, I'm not I haven't done huge techniques. If you're interested in techniques, then you need to join my membership. All the information's in the description. Um, so uh, I do a technique for my members each month, um, but I haven't used it. And so don't panic. Like I think it may stain a bit if you're putting your ink refills and doing techniques in there, but it doesn't matter. It just washes, it just washes and the color won't transfer. But what I've actually been using it for, if you're anything like me, okay, this is just me. Okay. You guys know me. I have a crazy busy life and I like, anyway, my life is busy. <laughs> I work full time. Uh, I've got three kids. And, you know, they say that when your kids get older, it's less work. Like that's like a lie, right? It's less work physically, but it's like a lot of work in your brain and you're thinking and you're organizing things and you're like talking to them all the time. Anyway, so I just tend to like when I craft, I sit down and I craft and then I leave my stuff everywhere and or I start a project and I don't finish it and it's all over my table. What I have actually found this useful for because it's such a um, like it's a contrast to the like this is where I put my ink pad often or it's where I'll put my dimensionals because I'm forever going like where are my dimensionals? So when I start crafting, I just put them there. And so then when I'm crafting, I'm like, oh, where's my dimensional? So I know to look for this. That's how I've been using it, which I'm sure is not what it was intended for. But but actually, that's how I found it helpful. So um, 
you know, I'll put my ink pad here, I'll put my dimensionals on here, and then I'll know where it is. Okay, so why don't we get started crafting? Keep asking me questions about the mat. Rose, did you join late? Did you know how to get the mat? You just need to become a demonstrator during celebration and you can get the mat free. Um, if you don't want the mat, you can still become a demonstrator during celebration and you get an additional $41 of free product. So, um, uh, in your starter kit. So that is it. I love it when people join my team. I'm hoping to have many of you join my team. Um, cause all you have to do the information's, uh, in the description. I would actually say now, if you really want the glass mat, you do have to wait till January the 4th. But um, for those of you that are interested in really maximizing celebration, join now because demonstrators are benefiting from the perks of celebration now. So with every $60 order that we place as a demonstrator, we get a free gift, but that doesn't come till to customers or go live until January the 4th. So demonstrators just get more perks like that. So it's a good time to join. Any time is a good time to join. And my uh, direct team members get added perks, like I mentioned, like the make and take packets, um, special prizes and challenges are just for my direct team members. So um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Whoa, so much talking, <laughs> but I love connecting with you. Thank you for joining me. Okay. So let me move my ink spots. Let's get this out of the way. See, always things are happening here. Okay, so let's get started on our project today. Um, da -da -da. I've been focusing on the Simply Sparkling Bundle. Here's some of the projects that I've made in the past. I already lost one of the cards, but this is the one we made last week with that shiny glimmer paper. And uh, isn't it neat how it makes such an authentic looking pop can? Um, so I really recommend getting the bundle together with the dies and the stamp set because the dies are amazing. So you can even see it's got these like cute little fruits. This was the week before the card that I made um, where I just used the dies to kind of play with the little fruits. So the sad thing is that the silver specialty foil paper, um, the silver specialty foil paper has sold out. It was on our online exclusives, but we have other sort of silvery uh, paper, but you could also use our smoky slate or gray paper. I think that would be nice too for the pop can. Okay, so, da -da -da. oh, I didn't even tell you. Okay, <laughs> so the glass mat studio comes with the glass mat. Sorry, <laughs> I'm all over the place. And this little silicon thing, but it also comes with like um, a cleaning cloth. Okay, so I just keep it in this little Ziploc bag because it's actually moist. So if you do get ink on your glass mat, I've just wiped it off. Or if I'm cleaning my stamps, I can use this to clean my stamps. Um, it's so soft and it just stays a little bit moist. And uh, I just keep it in the Ziploc bag next to me. Um, so then that's how I use it. So those are all the things that come with the glass mat studio, by the way. Okay, let's start. So this week... I'm still gonna play with the stamp set. I'm still gonna play with the dies, um, but I'm not gonna do any detailed die cutting. You'll see that the die has um, pieces that just cut out the outline. Okay, so we'll use that today. But why don't we start by, let's adhere our um, piece on. This is the Delightfully Eclectic, I think is what it's called, designer series paper. It's like from the annual catalog, a big thick piece. And if you guys know me, I'm a big fan, pink, purples, mauves, all of that pretty stuff. Originally, I was gonna use this design with the strawberries, but I changed my mind. So, because I was like, more pink, let's do it. So this is with uh, that designer series paper. We always have double-sided designer series, almost always double-sided. It just gives you options, right? Okay. So, oh, I'm glad you like my cards. I love sharing them with you. Don't forget if you want the card packet free, you just need to place a minimum $60 order on my online store and I will send you the card packets for next month. Okay, and why don't we grab the feature stamp here, this pop can stamp. If you guys are in the US, I think you guys use the word soda, right? <laughs> but in, I'm from Canada, so I call it pop. 
Okay, so let's do that. Now with the photopolymer, I'm gonna share a trick with you. That's why you like watching these videos, okay? So sometimes with the photopolymer stamp, see how they can, they can uh, they're very flexible, which is actually a benefit of these stamps because if you wanted to do different effects with them, you can mount them onto your block um, however you want. But if you want it just as, you know, so that you're not getting any distortion, sometimes what's handy is to just kind of put it down, lay it flat, and then put the block on top. Now, I don't know whether this will work. Oh, it worked fine. I was like, is it going to just stick to the last mat and not come onto my block? So that's how it. you can just try to avoid any distortion in the stamp when you are um, putting it onto your block. Hi, Christine. Oh, thanks for joining today. It's fun to see different names pop up. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and stamp our pop can. And you know what? I've noticed that my ink pads are getting a little drier now that I've turned up the heat in the basement. I find in the summer, my ink pads are all too juicy because of the air conditioning and the moisture in the air. And now that I've got the heat on and it's winter, my ink pads are kind of dry. So I need to re-ink re them with our little bit inkers, but I don't know if I'll take the time. We'll see if we can get by here. Okay, so this is what I mean by the really sturdy stamping surface. You don't need to put anything underneath. It's straight, it's sturdy, it's perfect. Okay, look at that. That is the detail in our Stamp It Up stamps. It looks just like a pop can. Um, but what I thought would be fun is to decorate our pop can. So let's decorate our pop can. Oh, see, I don't want to lose my little pieces. I'll put it on my glass mat studio. <laughs> because everything gets lost on my table. You never know. Okay, and then we'll put that away. And then let's move on and decorate our pop can. So I'm going to decorate it with some strawberries. So this stamp set actually has little strawberries. Now I do recommend always using the right size block for your stamp. So this one is a little big, I think, for the the A block, but you know what? It's pretty good. And actually, if you buy all the blocks together, it uh, gives you, a, I think, a 10% discount. So I just bought all the blocks together. That way I've got every size I need. Okay, so I'm doing tone on tone. I'm going to use the bubble bath ink, and I'm going to stamp little strawberries on my can. I can actually turn it upside down. I can get different. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing them all upside down. Okay. It just decorates the can a little bit. See some strawberries on there. Okay. That's a little messier than I would have liked it, but you get the idea. That's what I love about stamping, that you can just do whatever you want. Okay, so I've got little strawberries all over, and let's cut that out. Okay, so we'll use our die, and we'll cut this baby out. And so the die coordinates perfectly with the image. And let's grab our cut and emboss machine here. See that still? Yeah, so this is the mini size. And a little tip with the cutting pad. So this is a die cutting machine. It doesn't use any electricity. It's not a computer. It's literally a manual press, which means that anybody can use it. And it means there's not very many things to break on it because it's not a complicated device. Okay, so we'll just, and you just make a little sandwich with the cutting pads. Okay, and then we'll just push it and roll it through. Okay, that's right, it's Boxing Day. It's a holiday for us in Canada. 
I don't know what it is in the other parts of the country. I don't know if other parts of the country have Boxing Day. I don't even know what Boxing Day means. When I was little, my mom told me Boxing Day was when you put all your gifts back in the box and take them to the store <laughs> and return them. <laughs> okay. So that's our little can. There's a little magic there. Okay. And then what we'll do is I think we'll put this little piece on here. Can you see that there? So this is actually Melon Mambo. So I thought Melon Mambo, it's like a brighter pink. I thought it went really nicely with our uh, bubble bath there. So let's do that. And I like to kind of create a little banner. So I'm just going to snip the edge here. And to make a banner, I just kind of eyeball the middle. I snip up and then I go from corner to corner. Okay, and that just gives us a fun little flag or banner. Um, and then I'll just adhere that on there. Okay, so all the products that you see me using, you can purchase them from me. Um, and that's one of the, I love being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator because the products are authentic. They're, they undergo quality control measures. It's they're great products for, for paper crafting. If I'm going to take the time to make something, I want to make it the way I want to make it. And I don't want it to fall apart. <laughs> so, okay, next I'm going to use this um, white piece. Those of you that got your packets free as a thank you for your order last month, you'll have it already pre-cut. But uh, those of you who are stamping along and you want the measurements, that's the other thing about this mat. It's got measurements right on it. So it is two and a half inches by four inches. Okay, two and a half inches by four inches. I'll put that there, but let's dress it up with uh, some bubbles. So we'll use these bubbles and uh, let me grab a block here. Okay, and then we will stamp some bubbles on it using our bubble bath ink again. So, okay. Let's stamp that. So I'm just going to stamp, whoops, I'm just going to stamp randomly here. Okay. I totally, can you see that? I put the, so then I couldn't get the full image. So I'm just going to flip it over. Although it's just random. So it'll go anywhere. Okay. We're just decorating making the background a little bit fun. You can twist and turn the stamp however you'd like. There we go. Okay, let me hold it up so that you can see a bit better. Okay, and we'll pop that on here. I think I'm going to lay it flat. Okay. And then we've got our pop can, but I wanted a little bling. I love a little bit of bling. So I took some of our elegant trim. Our elegant trim um, in the package comes two colors, silver and gold. So you never you never have to worry which one you're going to use because you've got both. So I'm using the silver. I just wrapped it around my fingers to kind of create a loop. And then I'm going to put lots of adhesive on the back here. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to have my kind of twine peeking out. so that you can see you know a little bit of twine peeking out it makes it a little fun you can adjust it you can have the loops going in different spots okay and then we will i don't know this looks a little, a little crazy here hang on There you go. So the back looks messy, but nobody sees the back anyway. So it's no loss there. 
That looks a little bit neater. Okay, see how I just had those loops peeking out on either side? And then let's pop some dimensionals on there. So where are my dimensionals? On my little studio section here. There we go. Isn't that cute? So sweet, so sweet. And, um, oh no, I forgot to stamp the sentiment here. Can I save it? I don't know. It's not going to work. That's okay. We'll um, stamp our little strawberry here. I'm going to stamp it in black and then we'll cut it out. I wanted to put a label. See how they have little labels on here? Extra bubbly, fantastic. We'll have to name, what kind of pop would you call this? Strawberry surprise. <laughs> okay. Close the lid there and let's die cut. So there is a die to cut out that tiny strawberry. Hopefully I have it here. Okay, let's cut that out. Through. We'll get our little strawberry. Look at how cute it is. Look at how cute that is. So we'll pop that onto our card. Okay, but I'm just kind of sad I didn't put a little label on it. Let's see, is there a label on here? Hmm. So we're improvising, which we, we could just say simply sparkling, right? Let's do that. Improvising, let's look for simply sparkling. We'll pop it onto our little block. So before I put the die cut machine away, why don't I cut a little piece of basic white? Okay, so I think we could use it as a label for the pop can, okay, because I forgot to stamp and, okay, and so let's stamp Simply Sparkling. Maybe I'll do it in Melon Mambo. Let's move this out of the way. This is what I love about this craft. There's no mistake that's a, that's a really bad crisis. <laughs> no crisis. I tried other things like knitting, that was a disaster. Sewing, also a disaster. Because when you make a mistake, oh, it says always refreshing. I took the wrong one. Okay, that's okay. Okay. There we go, and we'll pop that on here with the dimensional. There we go, and that's our little card today. What do you guys think? So here's the original. Let me show you the original. So I had meant to stamp on it but since I had already mounted it and I wouldn't be able to stamp on it because it would be all bumpy underneath, I don't think I would get a clear image. So instead I made a little label. Okay, so those are our Simply Sparkling cards for this month. Let me 
see. One of them is missing. I don't know where it is. But hopefully you've been inspired all month with this card. You know what? I saw on the internet. That's the great thing. Um, you can get so much inspiration on the internet. But I saw a card that somebody made using the same colors as Pepsi, like the red and the blue. And <laughs> it was so cute. I'm sure um, if there's someone in your life that loves drinking Pepsi or something like that, you could totally use this bundle to make something cute for them. So that is my project for today. Let me see whether I can. So thank you so much for joining me on this day after Christmas live video. So great to connect with you. Don't forget to read everything in the description so that you don't miss a thing. And uh, something exciting is happening next week. Normally, I start a new product of the month next week. But since it's the beginning of January, I have actually uh, collaborated with a few girls on my team. And we are going to try to give you a special virtual you know, extravaganza to get you excited and ready for um, the new catalog and celebration that's coming January 4th. So you're not going to want to miss the video next week. Um, I may, you'll, you got to be on my newsletter list. I'll give you the update. I'm just collaborating with the girls as to when we're going to start the sort of exciting kickoff. Um, I think it'll be next week on January the 2nd will be the first video. So you're not going to want to miss it. It'll be fun. It'll be exciting. And it'll give you a good taste of some of the pretty things to come. Okay, so make sure you join me next week right here. And uh, if you want to connect with me in any way, no question is too is, is a problem at all. So go ahead and message me. Um, I'm happy to help you. And if you live anywhere near Markham, come out and stamp with me. My next Lunch, Laugh and Craft is January the 9th. Uh, come and enjoy a class and a lunch and we'll have fun together. Okay, thanks for joining me. Have a great and restful day, everyone. Bye for now.